Good morning, everybody. I am at the beaver pond today, and I spotted some eggs in the pond. I am so excited. I love spotting amphibian eggs. My first job in college, actually, was going out into the woods in the middle of the night on rainy nights and looking for salamanders. So amphibians have a special place in my heart. Now, this is the time of year in New England when frogs and salamanders are starting to lay their eggs in nearby ponds and vernal pools, and it's when they start their migrations from spending the winter under leaf litter and in the woods, and they start coming back to these ponds and vernal pools. Now, the egg sacs that I spotted are wood frog egg sacs. I brought out my very favorite book, Naturally Curious by Mary Holland. Now, the frogs we're talking about today are these. Look at that cute little wood frog. Now, notice that wood frogs have this brown or dark mask across their eyes. And they're the frogs that kind of sound like quacking ducks in the woods. Have you ever heard that sound? It's a pretty cool sound. Now, our wood frogs actually spent all winter hibernating under leaf litter. And what's super cool about these amphibians is that they essentially turn into little frog popsicles. They have a special system in their body that allows them to kind of produce an antifreeze and it keeps them alive while being in a semi-frozen state, a little frogsicle, all winter. And then when the weather warms up, they thaw out, come out from the leaf litter, and they're one of the first amphibians to come back to our vernal pools. So I want to go check out these egg masses. I'll show you what I noticed. Let's go take a peek. All right, everybody, there are hundreds of wood frog egg masses just below the surface here. Now, I actually am in the water in my waders, but I have a lot of experience with vernal pools and how to be safe with egg masses, but I highly recommend if you're at home, stay out of the water. Bring your water magnifier. Remember, all you need is a tube, a plastic bag, and a rubber band and then you can see these egg masses up close. Let's take a peek. Oh, oh my gosh! I can see this egg mass so clearly and I didn't have to disrupt it at all. So I'm gonna see if I can ever so gently scoop up one of these egg masses so we can see it up close and see what's going on. All right, everybody, here's our wood frog egg mass. Now, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it does look like tapioca pudding. There's individual spheres, and if we were seeing spotted salamander eggs, it really would look like a big pile of jello. Now, those little black dots are the frogs growing up, and you can see the protective jelly around the little egg. So cool. All right, I'm gonna gently put this right back in the water where I found it. Now, a lot of times our wood frogs will actually deposit their egg masses on branches or reeds or stems of plants poking out of the pond. And you can see the egg masses bubbling up at the top of these reeds. There are hundreds of egg masses in this pond. Oh my goodness, so cool. I can't wait to come back and keep an eye on what's going on with these wood frogs. All right, I'm being really safe, kind, and gentle, keeping my hand underwater so that the egg mass stays underwater but I wanted you to get a good look at that tapioca pudding egg mass. So cool. All right, I'm just gonna lower it gently right back to where it was. Perfect. Weren't those egg masses so cool? 
I love getting to notice things like this going on in nature and I love coming back to visit regularly so that I can see how the egg masses are developing. Now, if you do this adventure in your own yard or your own neighborhood, please make sure that you're being super safe, kind, and gentle. Wood frogs and other amphibians work really hard every year to make their way to these ponds, to lay those egg masses, and we wanna make sure we're not disrupting that process. So, as I said when I was in the pond, please stay out of the water, use those owl eyes, or those underwater magnifiers and you'll still get a good look at what's going on. Now it's a little chilly here in Northwood but it's raining and that tells me that it could be a good night for amphibian migration. There's a night that we call the big night and that's when amphibians make their way to their vernal pools and ponds and they often have to cross roads in the process. We've built up a lot of roads over time and these amphibians have had their migration paths much longer than our roads have been around. So if you can tonight, if it warms up a little bit, I'm talking 40 to 50 degrees with a little bit of rain, head out and see if you notice any amphibians crossing roads near your house and as long as you have a grown up and you're safe, you can actually help those amphibians get safely across the road. So get outside everybody. See if you can spot some egg masses in a pond or vernal pool near your house. Keep track of what's going on. Maybe take note in your nature notebook and you'll see amphibian growth right in front of you. So cool. All right, everybody, stay curious out there. Notice what's going on around you, and I'll see you soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye, everybody.